Hello, dear friends. There is always a double version of every project, black and white, like chess pieces. Both versions look alike, but they are the opposite, and people confuse them easily. Opinion piece. Quantum future. There are two timelines. There are two financial systems. This is part of duality. The train is leaving the station. Only one system will prevail in 5D. It takes us to the world's greatest adventure, waiting for the algorithm of uncertainty. HSBC and IBM prepare for quantum computing. IBM Quantum breaks the 100 qubit barrier. Dolores Cannon talks about two parallel timelines. Let's start. There appear to be two quantum financial systems, 3D and 5D, because two separate timelines are being created. There are teachings that suggest that the Great Reset of Davos and the QFS would be two different systems. One for those still operating in 3D or 4D, and one driven by the coalition that would receive other funding. One leads to the misery of the great 3D restart, and the other to the 5D ascension. The question is, how do we know which one we are dealing with? Both systems have common phrases, but with an opposite interpretation. When they say you will have nothing and you will be happy, they mean you will have nothing and you will also be a slave and unhappy. On the other hand, the positive system says the opposite. You will have everything in abundance and you will also be free and very happy. To further add to their confusion, red flags appear when we are told that we'll receive emails from banks or redemption centers. We are told to subscribe to Starlink and that we need to buy quantum devices. One side tells us to do these things, another side says none of that is necessary. But let's try to clarify. Two systems. According to a supposed message from Saint Germain, two systems will prevail in duality, as it, as it is a universal requirement of positive and negative. There are two systems available, the universal law, which is God's alchemical system, and the law of the matrix, which is the dark side system based on monetary finance. This could evolve into a one world order only to the extent that people allow it. And that's why we urge everyone to wake up. Only one system will prevail in the 5D, and this is the Spirituality Advanced QFS system. As for the great Davos restart, this is what is known as the globalist system or the failed old world order. The QFS is another system instituted by the coalition. In fact, both will find their place in their respective timelines. This is why we wish as many as possible to awaken, so that they can enjoy the fruits of the QFS system, not the bondage of the Great Restart. Two timelines. Dolores Cannon's book, The Three Waves of Volunteers and the New Earth, speaks clearly about the two parallel timelines leading to ascension. She explains how people will continue on one or of two timelines, the 3D timeline of fear and destruction or the 5D timeline of love and peace. Paragraphs, three paragraphs in quotes. So, there will be those on the old earth who will experience it because they believe in the fear of death, 
destruction and devastation of the earth, and they will be there. In their mind, they may perceive that you are all dead or go or whatever. And in the same way, they may perceive that they are gone, but either way, there will be two experiences. The orchestration to create this experience is far greater than any humankind can perceive at this time. This is not just happening on Earth, and no other planet has done this before. That's why it is said to be the greatest show in the universe, and they are watching everyone from galaxies and different dimensions to see what's going to happen. The train is leaving the station. It's taking us on a great adventure that has never been experienced on this scale before. It's up to each individual whether they climb a boat or remain standing on the platform. Volunteers who have served their purpose are ready to go home, all aboard. And remember, you are never alone. Ten years. In the next ten years, quantum computing will transform the economy, science, and society. This cutting edge technology can help to thrive them when quantum computers come of age, because that time is closer than you think. HSBC Bank and IBM announced March 29 that they will work together to explore applications for quantum computing in financial services. The new three-year collaboration is designed to strengthen quantum computing expertise and ensure its readiness to take full advantage of the technology. The bank ambitions applying quantum capabilities to priorities such as pricing and portfolio optimization, sustainability, risk and fraud. As part of the agreement, the bank will join to the IBM Quantum Accelerator Program for Quantum Computing Systems, including its recently announced 127 qubit Eagle processor. HSBC will explore the use of quantum computing for pricing and portfolio optimization, to advance its net zero goals and to mitigate risks, including identifying and addressing fraudulent activity. In addition, the bank will enhance its colleagues' skills in quantum technology through internal training programs, in addition to, act to actively recruiting quantum computing research scientists to develop a dedicated capability within its innovation team. Fraud detection. By some estimates, financial institutions are losing up to $10 billion a year in revenue due to poor data management practices, with total fraud losses reaching $56 billion in 2020. Fraud detection systems remain highly inaccurate, yielding near the nearly 80% false positives, making financial institutions overly risk averse, averse. Financial services institutions are under increasing pressure to balance risk at edge positions more effectively and perform a wider range of stress tests to meet regulatory requirements. Simulating all of a financial institution's risks could be prohibitively expensive and include portfolios of many options, requiring many samples and hours to complete. It is complicated trading landscape. Investment managers struggle to incorporate real-life constraints such as market volatility and changes in client, client life events into portfolio optimization. Advantages of the quantum systems. First, no violence will be financed. Second, freedom from the totalitarian threat. Third, 
arrest of criminal cartels. 4. End of the ability of all companies to operate outside the law. 5. All digital currencies will be regulated under a common law with no possibility of perverse acts. 6. Every piece of information in the quantum system would be protected and couldn't be modified. 7. The new quantum financial system began to synchronize the currency of all banks and countries of the world to revalue in gold in a gold and asset backed system. 8. Once the QFS is synchronized, all banks in the world would be online and all countries would have to revalue their currency. 9. Once the QFS informs each central bank what their specific code would be, they would have to respond. 10. If the central bank didn't comply within hours, they would be visited by a security team and codes would be entered. 11. The system knows who the offenders are, so there would be arrests when synchronized. 12. Mass arrests would follow immediately once the QFS is synchronized and the last code is entered. 13. In recent weeks, tens of thousands of small banks around the world were believed to have been closed in preparation for the financial restart. 14. In the restart, the role of banks would change from having control over the people's money to being a service company for the people. Reset News First, the white hats are in control. Second, tens of thousands of small banks close around the world. Third, analysts say the market will collapse sooner or later and offer advice on investing in commodities. Uh, four, forces have positioned themselves around the world waiting for a signal to start. Five, Russia wanted the war to end on May 6th, but we are in a loop. Six, Starlink's new portability feature brings internet to computers. Seven, Internet outage in Florida on Thursday, May 5th. Supply crisis. First, France says 60 million chickens have been destroyed because of an outbreak on avian flu. Second, consumer advocates in Germany warn a few of huge extra payments for electricity. Third, Switzerland sets up crisis centers after Russian natural gas embargo. Fourth, poultry and turkey farms in Iowa and 28 other states from Maine to Utah were destroyed due to pet flu, contributing to food shortages. Five, last Saturday, April 30th, another food processing plant in Chesapeake, Virginia, caught fire amid a series of mysterious accidents. 6. Jones County Chicken Farm destroyed in a fire Sunday night. 7. Fire damaged a processing plant in northwest Fresno on Monday, May 2nd. 8. The latest incident occurred at the Petio Farms Grain Processing Plant, where company employees found a tank of fire containing soybeans. 9. Amazon to close six food markets after stunning loose loss. Elon Musk's role. First, Elon Musk will serve as CEO of Twitter after closing a deal. Second, Musk could reach 150 million per tweet because he has 90 million followers. Third, Elon Musk was placed by the White Hats for many reasons. Fourth, do you really believe that a person with so much power is unprotected? He is armored. 
5. The same is true of Durham. 6. Musk is working on high-level military technology. 7. Duck technology is connected to a new formulation of independent governments around the world, which could never again be corrupted by the elite. 8. The technology designed by the White Hats is connected to future quantum phones, banking and world peace, as well as ending the production of toxins. 9. The future is bright and the best is yet to come. Disclosure. First, the military cannot make direct disclosure because it would be chaos and infighting as well as go against DOT laws. DOT means Department of Defense. Second, Trump cannot file disclosure directly because doing so would bring too much chaos to political arenas and cause major divisions within Republican Party, plus it would go against DOT laws. Third, that's why the White Hats are using private citizens like us to bring disclosure. Fourth, be very careful when you judge. Can't expect, can't expect them to be clean and sinless, everyone within the coalition. Many white hats had to infiltrate dark societies to gain trust. Smart white hats place both sides to gather inside information to gain trust and set traps. Topics. First, King Kim Gauguin says he won the multiverse war. She says they are confused, the demons and the usual humankind cretins. They still want to do evil, but many of their minions say give up. Second, helicopter money causes superinflation according to the nomad economist. The helicopter money option is primarily a fiscal intubation that introduces net new financial assets into the private sector, stimulating the real economy directly and immediately, without going through the financial system. For, for this reason, helicopter money is also defined as the term quantitative easing people. Third, Stefan's view. We are all where we are supposed to be, in this show, in this game, in this matrix. Individually, everyone for himself, without imitating, better yet without following anyone, because we no longer need a leader, no one to run after. We will all be our own leaders on equal terms, and individual capabilities will make possible for us the communities we still dream of today, but we will experience them and live in them and then we will be proud to have survived in these 3D times and celebrate, of course. And that's all for today. Thanks a lot, dear friends.